Okay, Salawam, Salawam, Gwamiya Sa'ala, Koholo Yimla Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chacha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well that by the Spirit taught us his beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Rav Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. Shachna and the Waf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. And um, pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. Now, as you can see, this guy right here, he's getting that, that potato chip put in him, man. And you're starting to see a lot more of these stories. Like, I'm just scrolling. This just, you know, used to be something that, you know, it's kind of, ah, oh, that'll be in the future. But, ah, oh, that's going to be 100 years from now. Ah, oh, you know. But, man, these people are really getting these, these things already, man. And what stood out to me in the story is they're just basically getting a, a, getting a chip, right? And then they're just going to a, a, a body piercing person to, to put the shit in them. So if they can do it themselves that simply, you better know that the government got something, you know, really, really. <laughs> Let's just say, you know, they're going to be more on point, man. They, they you know, they putting together the, the full package for you, man. Well, let's get some of this. It says um, Tesla owner implants chip in hand to open car and access data. It says, um. A Tesla owner has implanted two scannable chips into his hand in order to store cryptocurrencies and data. The chips also function as the key to his home and as a way of accessing his medical car. One of the chips also unlocks the Tesla Model 3. 39-year-old Brandon Dalale stated that he did not use anesthesia to numb the pain and that his first chip was a lot smaller than his second. Okay, he says the first one was a little bit smaller, so it wasn't as intense as shoving that giant rod into my hand. The first one came preloaded into a larger syringe. They pushed the syringe in. They popped in the chip, similar to how they would microchip a dog. <laughs> and I can remember that back in the days, man. I remember when they first started that. That's been, man, I'm not even sure. It's been, it's been a while. I can remember when, they, um, because they used to have this um, VCR tape that was kind of circulating the hood at the time um, called Millennial 2000. And these two so-called white men were talking about these things back in the days, man. So they have the technology. The technology is here. It's just, um, you know, how they're going to implement it is going to be the thing. And, and basically, you know, we know that it's going to be coming down to, um, they're going to basically use your resources, so to speak. Things that they know you need. They know you need food. They know you need water. They most definitely go um, push in on that real quick. Okay, it says Brandon is part of a better group of around 100 people. So there you go. You have, um, you know, it's people getting this thing, man. It's people that's doing this that are, are that are trialing the chips, which are made by a company called Vivaki. You probably can look that up if you want to. Um, I probably should look them up. Let me see here. Let me just copy the name real quick and we can probably just do a duck duck go search on it real fast and see what pops up it says the chips are coated in bio compatible substances and get encapsulated by body tissue soon after implant implantation brandon explains how the chips capabilities are constantly evolving through new downloadable features the company that put this together literally has its own app store where you can wire, wirelessly install apps into your body with these chips. <laughs> man, man, look. Hey, but you know, when you've seen the movie Matrix, the very first one where, you know, the guy, he's kind of flipping through these old ass hard disks. You know, you know, um, he's like, oh, yeah, you know, he wanted to get past the, 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 the boring part. And they got straight to basically the, the combat training. And they just he just pushed that card in, man. And. All of a sudden, all that information went to um, Neo's head, man. And he was it is, it was out here, damn Kung Fu Jiu <laughs> I mean, he, this nigga do all kinds of uh, fighting techniques and stuff like that, man. He just uploaded it. He was ready to go. He was in that that uh, that world, so to speak, and he was doing it, man. So this this the, the technology is there. These people are on on, on they're basically they're ready, man. Let's just put it that way. Anything can happen to the point where, and you know they ditching that dollar, man. So Joe Biden, he went off into the um that executive order that he signed in on March 9th that's supposed to be 
going into effect December 13th this year. And we'll see how it rolls, man, because hey, they, they they getting set. They putting everything in, in order. You know how um, um, Esau Edom get down, man. He does everything in gradualism. Okay, it says. It says, and, and one of the apps just happened to be the, tes the Tesla key card. So, they, so that was the first app I installed on it because I have a Tesla. And now I use that as my key card, as my key when my Bluetooth key fails or I don't have a key card. You just use your hand. <laughs> Brandon admitted that for now, the chips are a bit of a fun party trick. See, but that fun party trick shit going to go into something else. It says he understands that people may be skeptical, skeptical of implanting technologies in their bodies. However, he did note that phones already track our every movement. That don't have nothing to do with nothing, man. I could throw this goddamn phone in the trash. I throw this over, over over in the river, man. So what are you gonna do? Cut your damn hand off? You're gonna try and dig off into your, your hand and, 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 and pull this shit out in case somebody after you. Okay, it says. However, he did note that phones already track our every every movement still sounds a bit too cyberpunk 27 7 for us how much does it cost brandon to get a new chip 300 dollars, which is probably less than you expect he then gets the chip installed by a piercer who charges 100 dollars. so for 400 bucks you you uh, you 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 plugged in he said it's not bad as people think since i was a better tester i got the chip for 300 and then my installer charged me 100 all right but anyway you see what it is and when you go into the comments you know, people are not with it, man, because people understand that this is um, this is a, 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 a end time prophecy. The average person to tell you, oh, yeah, that's the end day. We're in the end days. You talk to people, you know, um, out in public about some, some of this stuff, man, and they'll tell you straight up. They'll tell you straight up. They know what's up. It's just, you know, a lot of people don't really converse like that. They don't really talk about stuff. It's just a regular. Old, oh, well, you know, did you see America's Got Talent last night or did you see the football game or did you see this or did you see that? You know, and. And people are not having real, real deep conversations, man. Let me um, go into this duck, duck, go real quick. I want to put in this uh, Salakia. Uh-oh. I don't know what the hell this is. Okay, let's um, put in this Viviki. Let's see what they got, what they got out here. Live a key, crypto bionic identity. Okay, all right. Let's see. We got some images. Okay, so this is their app right here. Where did that look? Hey, hey, this shit is out here. Crazy, man. And like I said again, if they can do it and make it this simple, where you just buying a chip, you just go to a store and buy a chip. All you got to do is come across a body piercer that 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 that's into that shit, and they just gonna you know. Hell, it, it, it's, hey man, it's get it's getting crazy out here. I just done a lesson on. Um, I think that was the day before yesterday. They got the tattoos, the um the the biometric tattoos or whatever, man. It's like a band aid you put on. You know, and, and it's about to get nuts out here, man. Romans thirteen and sixteen. It says. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So, you, I mean, you got if, if you own a business and the only way that you can keep that business running is this more likely a person is going to do that. You know, if you can't send your children to school, which they 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 basically made it to the point where you don't have no choice but to send your kids to school man while you work your three jobs <laughs> so and if you want to get paid then you're gonna have to you know comply with what they got going on man i mean it's simple that that's why I'm, it's, it's saying you you're not going to be able to buy or sell so you're not going to be able to buy anything and you're not going to be able to sell anything unless because that month with that dollar is going to be out of here once that dollar is gone and, and and you know you got jake in the videos with the big ass stack up to the ear that's gonna be that's that's gonna be done away with. So then, what's Jake gonna do? You know what Jake gonna do then? And, and they they pretty much just gonna starve people into doing it, man.
that's pretty much about how they're gonna get down on it. They're gonna starve your ass, or you want to eat. Your babies want to eat. You know, you want you want a place to stay. You know, you wanna you wanna be able to come here. Hey, no, all we take is, you know, this this particular currency. Here you go. You walking through there. They're not gonna take your um your debit card anymore, your credit card anymore. They're gonna have all that shit in you. And this guy right here, he actually, I think I may have skipped over that paragraph, but he was talking about how, you know, um, basically his, his medical information is on there. You know, you got your social security number, your driver's license in information, your your um, proof of insurance is on there. <laughs> All that stuff, man. They're going to be able to just, you know, basically like how, you know, like how they do a damn a simple breathalyzer or some shit like that or <laughs> soon as the, the police officer or whatever walk up to your car if you get pulled over you know he just he just kind of you know hit you with a little little beam real quick and, it, and all your information pops up in the cruiser they're gonna know if you're a damn criminal they're gonna know where you at you know and that goes into that god complex that esau edom has man that man has a real god complex this guy want to know everything he he wants to be all knowing, all seeing. You know, and I said it before. You know, and that's just me speaking as a, as a man. You know, of course they're gonna have people, the, the elite, if if they're actually getting them, they're gonna have an even more powerful chip, or just your, you know, your 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 simple judge in a courtroom or whatever, right? They 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 could have a a, a, a implantable that's far more advanced than your average citizen one, and they can just sit there and just you know re 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 you know just rewind your 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 every step as to that day the same way that they do a camera you know a detective they you know it's a crime scene then they'll go back and check cameras just in the area and all this other stuff you know they, they'll be able to go into your your head <laughs> or wind back all your memories and 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 be able to be right there on the crime scene right along as if they were with you you see so hey man you have to realize what what's going on out here, man. And we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Well, let's get this revelations. Uh, I mean, uh, Romans thirteen and eleven. And this is part of the end days prophecies, man. This is the, one of the last main prophecies to go down. And the, and Yahweh Shai, he told the disciples what would be going down in the last days, man. He told us to watch and pray. So what are we watching for, man? We're watching for shit like this, because this so-called white man, man, he's gradually slipping and sliding around, you know, throwing out false flags and bullshit information and bread and circus and got people out here looking the other way while he's doing something over here in the backdrop man you got to watch this man i'm dealing with a cunning hunter man romans 13 and 11 and it reads that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed the night is far spent the day is at hand see the day is at hand man let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light so you got to quit with the bullshit out here, man. It's time to repent. You're living in the very last of days and Jake just out here, just whatever, man. And I'm talking to myself as well. You know, hey, we, we, we got to try our hardest to, to um, you know, to stay on point, man. But I mean, it, it you know, man's going up. Yahweh about Shimei was shy. The Lord already knows who his elect is. You know, he didn't already predestinated that. You know, and we just pray that we're a part of it, man. You know, we don't want, you know, you don't want no parts of what's about to come. We pray to you, how about Shimmy Shah for mercy, man? Help us to watch. Help us to, you know, pray the proper prayers that we need to pray, man. To keep our head on a swivel. The scripture says to, to watch, I mean, to, um, to, uh, basically that the days are evil, man, to be circumspect. You see? And how do you, you, you first start this process right here to, um, come out of these works of darkness? You got to first off repent to the Father, Yahweh. In the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the real names of the father and son. The father's name is Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's a savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. That white Jesus they've been pushing on you forever, that's idolatry. The Lord is not some white guy, man. We go into Revelations 1, 13 through 15. It gives you a description of our Lord, man. And it tells you that he was a dark, melanated man with woolly hair. You know? Deep voice, austere man. Not this softy that they've been showing you. This blonde haired blue eyed, soft guy looking like just looking effeminate as hell. The Lord don't look like that. That's not our Lord. That's idolatry, man. Get away from these Christian churches that 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 that's not telling you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is especially for you. 
because you're the ones that the Lord is, is turning this earth upside down for, man. You see, the Israelites, you are the Hebrew Israelites. He made a promise to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. And he's coming back to get the children of Israel out of this, out of the hands of these goddamn demons, man. He's coming to get us out of the hands of our enemies. Don't ever think that these so-called white people in America or any other country that you may be scattered to are your friends, man. They're not. They're not your friends, man. These people have held us captive for damn near 500 years, man. And still out here acting the same as if it was the damn 1600s or 1700s, man. Here you go in 2022 going into 2023 and you still seeing the type of hatred that they had. And it's not going nowhere. And that's the problem with our people, man. The scripture says never trust by enemies man don't trust these people you can't trust them this is what they're about to try and do these people are about to try and put some shit in you to perpetually enslave you not only do they have you already <laughs> that's not enough they want to perpetually enslave you man they're gonna do it to their own people so you know they're gonna do you you jake all kinds of dirty man here you go all you're going to do is work and they're just going to add some 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 um some credits to your 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 chippity chip and then give the so-called white man and all these other companies and businesses the opportunity to go in your shit go into you and garnish your ass as you're walking to the gas station or, or you're driving to the gas station to get a tank of gas but you get there come to find out you you, you know it's gone <laughs> they done they done jip they didn't they done clipped you already car insurance company up oh, well we need that much you know, they, they can automatically, you know, go into your, it, it's no different than direct deposit. See, this is what they've been readying the people for, man. You got to realize this man, he's into gradualism. So he, he gradually, and I've been seeing a lot of Jake, man. When I go to the store, you'll, you'll see Jake, he'll put his phone up to the receiver and, and, and take the payment out. Or he'll put, you know what I'm saying? You know, they got the new debt, where, you know, with the debits, you can put them up to the scanner and it'll just beep it and take off the amount of money or whatever. You don't have to swipe no more. You don't have to push it in there no more, you know. And I'm seeing Jake more and more, man. Jake out here with the, you take Apple Pay? I'm like, huh? You know, it just be looking. So, and and, and a lot of people, are, what they're going to do is, you see how this guy right here is smiling in his damn picture right here? He's sitting there looking doofy as hell with that big stupid ass smile on his face. Because he, he's the life of the party, you know. You know, I'm the first to get it, so, so to speak. So he can walk up and just put his hand on some shit like, you know, and, and people going to have that shock value, you know, because a motherfucker want attention, man. And a lot of Jake going, and you know, Jake, super attention gatherers, man. They, they That's the reason why they do what they do with a lot of this music and, and, and the cheek, the, you know, the, the, the chicks out here with the ass cheeks out. They want attention. And they going to feel as if they're the life of the party because they can walk up and pay for, um you know, the drinks at the bar. By putting a hand up to a reader, man. But anyway, I just wanted to just touch on this, man. Hey, walk circumspectly. Keep your head on a swivel. These so-called white people, they have the technology to get down, and they're about to get down, man, because they're getting desperate. They know that they have but a short time, according to Revelation 12 and 12, man. They're getting real desperate. Do You know, the clock is moving on them. And like I said again, hey, man, keep keep your head on a swivel and just, just watch out, man. Hey, we, we look for... We're just looking for the, the, the coming of our Lord, man, because this right here is just a step closer. And all praises to Yahweh about Shimei, I would side for it too, man. We root this on. It's not like we're against it because these things must happen and they must come to pass before we can go into the, uh, you know, our own kingdom, man. So with that, Kwame Yashallah.